So hello, my name is Nicole Fins and Love and today guys I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a plasma uh plasma cutter. Uh so I haven't uploaded in a couple of days because I was doing something I I'm very busy right now. But I'm gonna just upload this quick little video right here. So if you're wondering if you just subscribed to me, it's probably from that one video how to make uh how to get free stuff on Amazon. So I'm gonna do how to stuff on software and hardware. So definitely check that out. Uh, uh, if you haven't checked that out before, if you're just coming in for this video, so make sure you check that out. I'll probably even suggest it about right around now. I haven't really tried that, just I just randomly put it for the video, so definitely will let that happen. Uh, and also, I probably will, probably won't. Mm, yeah, I will leave a link to, to the uh, video in the description down below this time. I will, so definitely make sure you guys go check that out. So, what you guys gonna need first here is a Kodak. Uh, here I just um, have a Kodak camera, uh, 24 volt, power supply. And then over here I got the uh, lead from a uh, pencil. Uh, lead pencil would work, um, but uh, I definitely prefer doing this one because it creates pretty much more heat and pretty much more everything. Pretty sure it's more. Uh, uh, allows more electric current into it. This thing can focus. Whatever. But it allows more electric current. There we go. Into it or whatever. But this one is definitely better to use for it, but you can still use uh, uh, a regular old lead pencil for it. And then the next thing you're going to need is some aluminum foil for this project. So those are the three main things that you guys are going to need. And also, uh, if you guys want to know, I can make a actual light, uh, an actual, like, I guess flashlight or light bulb, or whatever you guys want to use for it, uh, or whatever you guys want me to show off. I'll probably show an example in this video. Uh, but if you guys want to definitely see me make, like, a kind of light or flashlight kind of thing, from this, I can actually do that and just leave a link in the description down below or just message me about it. So, yeah, so definitely do that. Alright, guys, so I am back and I have it here um, already attached to the piece of lead that I'm going to be using. It's already plugged in the 24 volt source. Um, you don't really use to have to have it. And also, um, if you actually touch, uh, if you accidentally touch both leads to your hands or whatever, it actually doesn't create any sparks to you. But if you actually do use it, uh, I tap it against it, it will create a little bit of spark, uh, sparks with the wire. It'll create kind of big ones, kind of not. But depending on here, uh, it doesn't actually cause any harm unless you're just there holding it there for like four, like ten minutes like an hour just literally having it in your hand then yeah it'd probably cause some damage but having there there just a quick little touch or whatever it's not gonna really do anything for a couple of seconds it doesn't really matter um but here it is so i already have it attached here here so what you want to do is you're just going to go over the aluminum foil with the um thing so if we just go over here with this and just touch on there see that As you can see there, it's already arcing through the thing. As you saw there, uh, you might have saw it there, I'm not sure. Uh, there's like a little bit of smoke. And look at that, it just cuts straight through the thing. Now, if you really want it, and also the wire starts to get hot if you go closer to the thing. You can, t you can feel it and it's actually hot because the light is really hot when it touches especially when it's there look at that it gets really hot and it starts melting off but if you just go out and struggle over it like that it definitely does and look at that already burned a hole through it that's just amazing look, look how you can do it it just becomes red hot. It's just like, yeah, you see that? That little bit of smoke right there. It just comes up. So yeah, it's definitely really, really great. Now, when you click on here, and you're probably just like, oh my god, I came here to see the it work as a plasma reactor. Well, guess what? Uh, 
I just put that under there just in case we burn it through. I'm just gonna put this right here. I'll put it right on top of it. I'm gonna plug it back in because I unplugged it. Here we go. Have the thing repaired. Keep my hands too not too far or close to the top of the wire. Hold up, hold up. This is very hard doing it with one hand, but almost the fact that the wires drag themselves because they're so close together. Okay, here we go. Solder. See there, those were the actual sparks. Hold on. Oh wow. I fail. Hold up. I'll be right back. I'm back from that, but uh, here it is. I have it reattached to the thing, and I have burned some holes through here already. I have tightened it around the thing, so you can see that it actually kind of makes a burn mark on the thing. Here we go. kind of loose, it comes loose out for a while. Well, look at that. That's just amazing, look at that, all those sparks. I was like, you're crazy. Now, if you, um, actually have a higher uh, supply of electricity, or you have about the same amount as I do, I think it's, it goes down to all the way around. You can have like about 9 volts and still use it on here and it still burns this all, but I prefer 24 volts because it actually does a really good job. But you can just see it right here, by 24 volts, by just itself. Look at that. Look how much damage it creates to the thing. How much arcs it creates by just doing that. Isn't that just amazing? As you can see, already on here, we have the burn marks. I already took it off, but I have the burn marks here from the, uh, from it sparking. Uh, from here, it's, uh, mostly from the 24 volts just touching it. But some, like, here and here, probably most, like, the, the, um, the lead touching it. Oh, oh yeah. And it just lines up here with this thing. So these two dots right here go to the two dots. So that's kind of a burn uh, on the tips. I guess it mostly burns on the tips from the thing. I guess it just really does that on its own. But as you can see here, here goes the two burnt tips uh, through the aluminum foil. Um, it doesn't really do too, too, too much damage because it's not its full potential because most of the electricity is being dispersed through this aluminum foil everywhere. So it is definitely not as strong as it could or would be because it's definitely going through there. So yeah, uh, that's actually pretty much it for this video. Um, actually, you know what? I can actually show you guys it um, by itself touching the lead both leaves touching the lead and see it glow up and then disappear so let me show you that all right guys so i am back and i have the lead already attached to the thing and i have it on top of this bowl that was painted before it's kind of old now but i'm about to touch the both leaves together i have it already plugged in it's already passed inside charge jump so if i touch it here it should create a big fat flash and it should be able to burn the thing and create like a little light bulb kind of effect Hold up. It only does that because the thing is touching, because of the plastic is touching the thing. So you don't have to worry about that too much. It's hard doing this with two hands, but I'll try my best. And also, it's already been heated up, because once it's already done like that, it's heated up to its point. So I got it. Here we go.
Alright, so technically I do and I don't have this. I'm just trying to put these two close together so I could put it close together. So when I touch the thing, it touches both. So here, I got it close together. Look at that. So I'm gonna touch, I'm about to touch these two, uh, the lead two. I said about that, the camera cut out. But if I touch these two together, then it will be able to arc and spark and create this whole entire mess. And it's not touching the plastic anymore, so it shouldn't burn as fast. So here we go. Oh. Look at that. It already created a burn mark. An imprint. On the wood. Just by sitting there. Look at that. Just look at this. It creates such a big burn mark for this thing. I literally have to move it around. Like, probably don't do this like I did on the wood. It's probably not gonna come off. Like, it literally burned a hole through the wood. And also, I suggest waiting for it to um actually um cool down before you touch it again. Because it actually creates so much heat that you literally cannot touch it. You burn yourself. That's literally how heat how much heated up this thing is. Seems like it doesn't want to work out. Um, but it didn't cut out. But it's just the fact that sometimes it, after a while, it just burns out in such a spot right there. With the burn marks, it uh, it just doesn't allow it. So you're just probably saying like, how does this even work? Because uh, lead doesn't connect a uh, conduct of electricity. Actually, it's a really big resistor of electricity. It's like a perennial resistor. It resists how much electricity is allowed through it. But there's still um, electricity going through it enough that it actually burns the thing that's why if you put a high a very high amount in there it burns it up so this one's is not as lighting up uh, as much and if you try to with a little if you try it with a lead pencil it's not gonna work as good it's just gonna burn away real fast it's not gonna last as long as this one I just have to make it a little, probably a little bit smaller than this one that's probably be really small or you just have to get a lot of amount of electricity going through there uh, for you to actually do this and make sure that you don't touch it after you just use it because if you do you'll definitely burn yourself because you can see all that it does create a lot of damage uh, and probably will do it to your skin if it, uh, if it phys physically touches you because it's so hot already so you definitely want to make sure you just don't touch it and make sure you do it over a proper surface. Make sure you do it in a ventilated area if you're very much like doing it a lot. I haven't been doing it a lot. Uh, that's why it doesn't really smell too bad in here. It's just the fact that it just has a little bit of smoke effect. And that smoke effect was definitely because of the lead and also mostly because of the plastic that was getting burnt. Um, because there was so much heat going through the wires and it was just melting the actual plastic. So you definitely want to take that into consideration. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you smack that like if you do like this button, if you like this. And comment down below if you want more videos like this one. And also comment down below if you want to see me make a kind of light bulb kind of uh, thing from this. So make sure you uh, definitely do that. Make sure you press that subscribe button uh, because you will miss out. And also make sure you check out my channel for other videos like this one. Uh, my channel is very great, so definitely check it out. And I'll see you guys later, and bye.